Hello there Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. So I have a message for you. Um, well, I'm going to relay four messages for you and then we're going to shuffle out the cards to get the cards for this month, okay? But um, the first message sounds a little bit harsh, so please don't get mad. Um, it says, don't sell yourself out. Don't sell yourself out. And um, I feel like for some of you, you're in the process of settling for something when you know that you could have more, when you know that you could achieve a lot more. And um, I feel for some of you, this is like taking a job that is significantly underpaying you um, in the hopes that, you know, further down the line, I can work my way up and, and you know, succeed. And then for others, I feel like settling for a relationship that it's like subpar, but it's stable. You know, like you, you trust the other person, they trust you. And so I feel that element coming through. It's kind of like settling for less, okay? Settling when you know that you could do a lot more. Settling basically means your heart, your soul, your intuition is telling you this is not right for the long haul, but it's okay for now. So I'm just going to stick with it for now. So it's it's kind of like, you know, dampening your sense of ambition, dampening your sense of greatness. And I feel that you want to be careful in which areas you're doing this because I feel like you are meant for more. Um, other people, the second message here is I feel like you're at a major crossroads. It feels to me like, you know, work or love, work or love, one or the other, as if there isn't a way for you to rectify the two. And so I want you to look at, you know, you are a fixed sign and I feel like you do see things in binary, you know, yes or no, black or white. Uh, is it going to happen or is it not? And you, you tend to, you know, get yourself in that mindset where things are very uh, singularly this or singularly that and and there's no middle ground right you're you're very ex um, extreme and so I feel like for those of you straddling that fine line you know do I pursue love or do I pursue work I feel like there is a middle ground aim for that middle ground find a way for you to you know on the one hand be with the person that you love and also find work in the area where that person is because I feel like it doesn't have to be that extreme it doesn't have to go one way or the other you don't have to you know uh, pine over opportunity cost as a result of taking a specific course of action and so maybe there's a way for you to rectify the two you know if you really believe that that person is meant for you and that you're not settling Maybe it doesn't have to be so fatalistic where you choose one path and negate the other, right? So put your thinking cap on for this month because I feel like you're seeing things in a, a very, very singular way and it's not good for you, okay? Um, third message that I have here, it feels to me like there is, um, you're, this is a big, big month for you guys. I feel like a lot of decisions a lot of decisions are coming through and first of all um, I'm seeing like you know decisions in housing so I don't know if there's a, a move that you're planning to make but there is like major major emphasis when it comes to housing property rental units uh, renting a house or putting a house out for rent purchasing property do I do it or do I not should I wait until next year or do I take them the chance now and so you know, the, the moon, uh, I'm sorry, the sun is uh, in the sign of cancer for this month, right? If you're a cancer cross-watching as well, happy birthday. But if, if um, I feel like it elicits, you know, emotional decisions and emotional responses within us, and especially for you guys. So I feel like every decision needs to be come, combed through with a fine tooth uh, comb. And um, you really need to sit it out and really sleep on it, mull it over. And inspiration will be coming for you where you will know how to move ahead, where you will know what's the right decision as long as you hang on to that, you know, one line that I mentioned at the beginning. Don't sell yourself short, okay? Don't settle. 
for this month. Don't sell yourself out. Don't do something if your heart is not 100% in it. And don't do it, especially out of fear. You know, that, that's, that's not going to be the right way to go through life, okay? So while you are trying to navigate the energies of this month where a lot of decisions are in store for you, I feel like one of the things that might help overall is to figure out, you know, what really motivates you and what really drives you. Because I feel like when you operate, you know, Aquarius, you have really strong intuition and I feel like you're so rational sometimes you don't really trust it. And this is the month for you to sit still by yourself and really sift through these feelings. Really sit through and, and uh, sit alone and sift through these emotions and figure out where they're stemming from and what they're trying to tell you to do because that is your intuition. That is pretty much, you know, um, your, 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 your higher self trying to communicate with you. And when you're very stuck, you need to be alone in order to sort through it, okay? Um, I guess the last message that I have here is uh, there are major, major reassessments when it comes to relationships. Major reassessments that needs to happen, okay? And um, I see many of you getting cold feet. I see many of you dealing with another person that's also getting cold feet. So it's like the reality is dawning upon a relationship. And so where it goes, I feel like, you know, this is between you and that person and you both need to really come together and, and, and assess, reassess whether or not the, the choices are for the greater good of both parties. Okay. Not just for one person and whether or not you're staying together for the right reasons, you know, is it financial security or is it love? Okay. So that's really important for this month. Um, let me just um, go through the spread with you. And um, I feel like we have a lot of good things here overall. But, you know, new things brings about new decisions, big decisions. And I feel like that's where you're you're feeling like really excited. But at the same time, you, you're feeling very scared. So I feel like a lot of fear <laughs> coming in from this spread. It's a mixture of fear and excitement. And anytime we do something new, there's always, you know, that that mixed feelings, right? Bittersweet, you know, having to say goodbyes while embarking on a new thing, on, on a new journey. But also uh, doubt that, am I good enough? Am I going to be able to make it? So I feel like that's coming through. So let me just talk about this. And this is um, the, the two cards that really came out strongly. So this is a card about travel, relocation movement a lot of success is happening for you guys as a result of a relocation as a result of a new move as a result of something drastic that you're doing for yourself um the eight of wands basically indicates communication that comes very very swiftly so you need to be prepared you need to be ready and you need to be able to act kind of like at a moment's notice and you need to not hesitate okay um, I'm sensing for many of you with the chariot, the chariot indicates some type of an external success. Okay. It's a card about a lot of discipline that isn't necessary, uh, dealing with a lot of, uh, opposition. It's kind of like against all odds I've made it. So I feel like you have some really good, solid career success that is coming through for you. And yet you're still grappling with this decision. Am I good enough? Is this something that I really, really want? When externally, confirmation is there, right there for you. Externally, it is something that you're good at. It is something that you you will excel in. And so they're telling you, you know, don't straddle the fence. Don't be indecisive. Don't overthink. Don't overanalyze. Just go with it, okay? Sometime for this month, you are going to be called upon. And I feel, you know, this is communication here. You are going to be called upon where um, you're like presenting something, I feel like, to a big group of people. It's in a very professional, public type of a, a way. And there might be other people. They're kind of like doubting your ideas, questioning you, and um, they might do it in a way that is very abrupt. And you need to be very fast on your toes. You need to put your thinking cap on to be able to navigate this energy, you know, um, sounding very firm and very sure but at the same time, not sounding callous and 
um, I want to say like close minded. Does that make sense? So it's a very, very fine line. And I feel like, you know, as a very extreme sign, you do see things in binary and it would be really important for you to somehow kind of like straddle that middle ground, be very subtle, communicate in a way where you get your point across, but don't pick sides. Okay. Um, I do feel an element of office politics playing into this, but I don't feel the people are devious or difficult. I just feel like they're coming to you and they're like, here's a problem. What is your solution or what is your suggestion? And err on the side of like that middle ground. Don't do anything too extreme. So the reason why I mentioned, you know, extremes is because we have here two horses, right? And um, it's like black or white. Yes or no. And I feel like if you take one route, you can't backtrack later. And then at the same time, if you're so adamantly, you know, like fighting for advocating for a specific course of action, you can't really go back and redo as easily as easily. So it's going to be, um, you know, a lot of sunk cost into something that might not pan out. So you want to err on the side of safety by aiming for that middle ground. Okay. Be more like a Libra aim for that middle ground. Okay. So that's coming through. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication overall, a lot of opportunities for travel. I feel like it happens very, very, very last minute. Like you need to just, you know, they give you like, they, they give you a call, they give you an email and two hours, you're, you're going to need to be ready to go. And I feel like it's exciting, but it can also be very stressful. I feel like a lot of you crave excitement and you're, you know, you're very buoyant and you, you like to explore and you're, you're really on the go. But I feel like, you know, especially if you're traveling across different time zones, especially if your, your practical affairs are not in order. I mentioned for the past two months, I felt that energy where you needed to take care of practical things. So that means, you know, doing laundry on time. So you have, you know, clothes to travel. Um, washing the dishes because you might be called out at, you know, for, for, to be away for three days. And if the dishes pile up, the house is going to be a mess, right? And when you get back, you might have mice, you might have cockroaches, whatever the situation is, but you, you get my point. It basically means that you have to take care of things. Whenever you find a little bit of downtime, take care of something that you need to take care of. Don't assume that there's going to be time to do it uh, you know, later tonight, later this week, I don't feel that's going to bode well for you. Okay. So take care of things, do a little bit more management, uh, when it comes to your schedule, timing, um, taking care of things. It's, it's like time. I feel like there is a time crunch, but there doesn't need to be a time crunch if you handle things in an orderly fashion. So I feel like, yes, the opportunities are coming through. It's very fast. You're going to say yes to them. You're going to be so delighted and I feel like it's going to work out well, but it is at the same time a little bit stressful. Okay. And, and it is stressful, stressful for your sleep schedule, for your circadian rhythm, um, for overall your emotional well-being. But I feel like you're going to see a lot of cool things and you're going to have a lot of fun. And there's just a lot of just expansive energy. Okay. So new opportunities are coming through for this month. Um, first of all, we have here a job and this is good. We have here a job offer that's going to be on the table for you. This is something you've thought about for a really long time. And if you look at this uh, card and actually, you know what? I'm curious. So I'm just going to pull out another card. Okay. And I want to see if there is room to grow. Okay. So, okay. So we have a, a, a job offer and when it shows up here as the page of cups rather than an ace of pentacles, I'm sorry, a page of pentacles rather than an ace of pentacles, it basically means a job that is going to be kind of like underpaying you or you might have to do some additional internship. You have to do an additional like a probationary period before they are, they trust you with responsibilities and with added responsibilities, your pay will increase, right? And so this is something you've been thinking about for a really long time, because I feel like you go back and forth in your head, like back and forth. Do I do it? It pays so little. And then, you know, 
if I do it, everything's going to be fine, but do I make enough to be able to support myself? So you've been mulling over this back and forth for a really long time, but it is something that you've had on the back of your mind for quite some time and you're not really sure whether or not you've, you, so rather than doing it, applying for it or saying yes to it, it's always just been in the back of your mind. You ruminate over it. You think over it, but you're not really sure. Okay. So it's coming in the picture for you in July. And I feel with this high priestess card in the reverse position, the high priestess is, um, I usually think of it as some type of, um, when we look at this card overall, it's almost telling me like um, there is some type of an ancestral. This is um, a, like a, a, a spiritual person that has passed on. And I feel like this is something, if you are somebody that prays to a specific entity, I feel like this is the entity giving you a response. Okay. And so I do feel overall, this is something you've been thinking about for a really, really long time. And it's there for a reason. You keep thinking about it, but you don't do anything about it. And it's there for a reason. And now it's coming in and you're confronted with this decision. And you're just like, but on the one hand, the job I have pays really good. And I want to stay at that job. And if I move and, and get this job, I'm going to have to start from the bottom. I'm going to have to be an apprentice. I'm going to have to like work at the bottom of the totem pole and work my way up. And if it's even possible for me to work my way up. So... I feel as if this is a job overall that involves a lot of paperwork, a lot of like tedious, detail oriented types of work. And that's not exciting for you, Aquarius. And you know that, you know, it's going to be challenging. You know, it's going to be hard. You're not like disillusioned about, you know, how difficult it's going to be. But I feel like you keep mulling over it because a big part of you knows it's going to be really fun. It knows it's going to be really rewarding. Okay. And so I feel like that's uh, that element is coming through. And uh, while I was pulling out this card, another thing that I'm getting here is I feel like some of you are dealing with this person. This is a person. Um, Page of Pentacles, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. A big part of you. They're making an offer to you, right? And they're very solid. It's a very solid offer. And with this card showing up in the reverse position, it basically means there are things about them that you don't trust, trust issues. And so you want to think about, you know, are the trust issues based on something that they have done? Or is it based on, you know, trust issues that you are carrying in from the past, from past relationships where you've been hurt, where you've been lied to? So I feel like there is an element here about a relationship that might not meet your expectations. So you really want to figure out, is there room to grow? Are we going to be able to communicate well? Can we work together as a team? Uh, are they stable enough? Are they worthy of my you know, investment, emotional investment? And whether or not this is going to work long term. So I feel like if this is a person, there's a lot of chemistry here. This is a card overall about, you know, physical attraction, sexual chemistry. It's, it's a really good card when it's good, but when it's bad, it can create a situation where, you know, power struggles. One person is being too controlling and the other person won't acquiesce, won't give in, won't, you know, won't settle. So I feel like there is a lot of things here that you need to kind of reassess when it comes to your relationships, okay? And all the while, especially if you're trying to decide, you know, do I stick with this person or do I go somewhere else and, and not have that person in my life, but figure out a career path for myself. And the question here is that maybe there's um, a way for you to do both. So going back to that message, okay? So there are a lot of crossroads that, um, that are kind of like hitting you left and right. There are a lot of decisions that you're making here, Aquarius. And uh, they're not bad decisions, but I feel like you need to make a decision rather than sitting and mulling things over, sitting still, mulling things over, 
not making a move and then the opportunities pass you by okay and then for for many of you um i feel like there's a relationship blossoming a relationship you might be dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn or a fire sign sagittarius aries or leo there's a relationship so that's their sun moon arising okay there's a relationship blossoming and um you're trying to keep the relationship and you're trying to maintain the status quo because things are going well right and you're just like i'm going to stick with it a little bit further just to see how things are going to work out and i also feel like you've also invested a lot of time in it it's really hard for you to walk away at this point even though new opportunities are calling new work is on the horizon, new opportunities for advancement, career, and just, you know, building things from the ground up, okay? Like starting over, building things from the ground up. And you're not a sign that uh, shies away from new adventures, but I feel like emotionally, you're linked up with another person. The person could be all, you know, great and good, but I feel like there's control elements, there's stubbornness somewhere in this. It could be you or them or both. Um, two people are not able to compromise is what I'm sensing, okay? Even though you like the person, even though there's strong chemistry, there's really strong chemistry, but it doesn't feel to me like it's entirely stable. It doesn't feel completely stable, not with this devil card. And so you're mulling things over in your mind and you're just like, and you know, there's this element here about the past coming back to haunt us. That's what it feels like to me. And so it's like, I've made this decision before where I've had to forego love for work or where I had to, you know, forego work for love. And I ended up empty handed. So I don't want a repeat. So there's a lot of fear here, fear of the past, repeating, fear that you're making the wrong decision, fear that you're going to pick one road, have that, but then lose the other option. And Aquarius, um, I feel like the, the major message here for you is you need new things, okay? You need to branch out. And uh, if you're having doubts, it's because something is not enough for you. You need more out of life. And when you take these opportunities to really get more out of life, you're going to have a lot of success, external success, emotional success as well emotional satisfaction whereas if you keep yourself stuck you can you can build of course but you're going to be waiting 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 for the harvest you're going to be working and building for other people rather than building for yourself okay so big decisions to be had here it's going to apply in different arenas of, of life or different aquarians watching this but i feel relationships I feel relocation in the cards for you, okay? Um, it looks positive, though. Just uh, don't straddle the fence too long and, you know, make the decision, okay? I'm going to see what's in store for you guys for love and relationships. Going back to that first message that I mentioned, you know, don't sell yourself out, okay? Don't sell yourself out. You always know, I feel like a lot of you... You always know that you have a, a, a preference, one thing over another, like you, you always know. But in the process of thinking about, you know, what does that look like? That's where you scare yourself, but you always have a preference. And um, you always value one thing over another. So even if you're weighing out two options, intuitively in your mind, one thing is always better than the other. You already know that, but the process what does that look like? What is that going to give me? What does that look like three months down the line, five months down the line? Because you do that. And then, you know, with option A, and what does that look like with option B? Three months down the line, five months down the line. And you get yourself into a circular pattern where you just think and think and think, and it starts to scare you. The, the possibilities start to you feel mobilized by fear, immobilized by fear, and it starts to scare you. And it can feel very, very claustrophobic, okay? Um, try not to do it because I, I feel like that gut instinct, you need to trust it, okay? That preference for always knowing what you want, 
you always know what you want Aquarius and if something just you know makes you feel warm and fuzzy and, and makes your heart sing and make you feel very buoyant that's probably the thing that you need to go for so don't think about what does that look like what is it gonna entail you know like don't do that okay um actually i'm gonna pull out one more card here because we've got a big heavy card okay so let's talk about this let me see what's the best way to okay so let me talk about this first so the crowning energy the crowning energy here is um you know you want a relationship that is exciting right so we have here the seven of cups the seven of cups is kind of like the fantasy okay it's like the that um that i, I want to say like someone who is a hopeless romantic and i feel like this can be you aquarius where you are just like looking at all the options and looking at you know what's the best outcome that i can achieve and i feel like you're dealing with somebody that makes you feel very good okay so in a way they're exciting they're fun to be with you both share a lot of adventures together you both spend a lot of time together you both see a lot of new things together and they're they're also very romantic they're very grand with their gesture they're very verbally expressive as well and um the fantasy here is that yes it can work because we're you know meant to be together but the reality of it is you the both of you are really really different the both of you don't really have you know a lot of compatibility you might like certain types of food and they absolutely hate it you might like to travel a lot and they're a homebody okay and i also feel like there are this is a card about you know two different species one's a person one's a plant and they don't have very much in common. And I feel like one of them is very deeply rooted in tradition, conservatism. And the other person is like, kind of like, um, and this is, I feel like you, is like the whistleblower. The ones that fight for the truth. The ones that, you know, are very easily excitable. So I feel like the two of you are just very, very, very different from one another. So on the one hand, it is exciting to date somebody who's very different from us. But I feel like it's a fantasy because the reality is that there's a lot of arguments, there's a lot of disputes, there's lack of clarity, lack of consensus, and lack of agreement overall in a relationship that you're in. Um, so that, that's what I'm feeling for some of you. You're thinking about this relationship and you're trying to decide, do I move forward? What do I do? You know, do I stay in it? Or do I move forward? Do I stay in it long enough? Hopefully that fantasy will materialize. Or do I cut my losses now because we just can't see eye to eye. And so if you're dealing with that, and I feel like you might be with a fire sign or even a water sign. Fire sign or water sign. So Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And then we have a water sign here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If you're grappling with that, here's what's in store for you. I have here the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands is kind of like making a decision, not being stuck anymore, and um, not not fearing, you know, the 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 differences between the two of you, and taking still taking the relationship to the next level. So I feel like, despite it all, you're still gonna do this. You're still gonna take the relationship to the next level. This is a card about marriage. This is a card about fidelity and celebration too. So I do feel that no matter what, you care about that person. And even though you, you overlook all of your differences and you're still going to, you know, try to be together with the, uh, between the two of you. I also feel like they're making you a proposal as well. You know, like, um, let's date each other exclusively. Let's move in together. Let's try to make things work. And I feel like it's giving you a lot of anxiety. It's giving you a lot of anxiety. Um, I'm sensing with the high priestess here, there's a lot of information coming to light. And I also feel the high priestess and this four of wands, there is kind of like that marriage vibe. Okay. There's a, a, a very strong marriage vibe in store for you. And I feel like a lot of you are just not going to be, you're, you're going to make a decision and you're going to stick with it. And I, I feel like it's going to be fine because once you make a decision and once you stick with it, that's when you don't stray. 
it's when you're still in the process, that ebb and flow in the decision-making process. That's when you work yourself into a frenzy. But once a decision is decided upon, and especially if it's coming from another person, then it's going to be fine for you. Okay. So that's for those dealing with that very tenuous, tumultuous type of a relationship. Um, there's still lingering trust issues here. Talk about it, flush it out and leave it, you know, leave it in the past. Okay. Don't carry that with you because the high priestess, it's like news being revealed. And I feel like there's still trust issues here. Okay. So the foundation here is something that you know to be true. And you're coming into the month with the knowledge of it. I have here the King of Cups. This is a water sign. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I have here the Two of Cups. This is a soulmate connection. It's kind of like when I saw this combination together, they said peas in a pod, okay? Peas in a pod. So it's like two people that are almost like just as stubborn, just as stubborn, but two people that really care about one another. It's almost like you not only love the other person, but you like the other person. You want them to be okay. They want you to be okay. So even if the relationship breaks up, they still care about you. They will still keep in touch and find out, you know, every once in a while what you're doing and how you're doing. And, 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 and they, they do these things without ulterior motives, without strings attached. And I feel like a lot of you have a person like this in your life. You might have already broken up with them or you might still be with them. If you're still with them right now, you know what this feels like. This feels like no matter what, I want you to be okay. That type of energy. It's like, I feel like for those with this person in your life, it's kind of like, honestly, Aquarius, I feel like you, for the first time, you understand what love is. So you, you have a very, very deep, profound level of affection and respect for this person and you want this person to be okay. So you have had this already or you are dealing with, with somebody that has this energy that makes you feel like this, okay? And so I feel like that relationship is going to solidify and it's going to be taken, taken to the next level here with the marriage card, okay? Um, which brings us to the past we have here the three of wands and the six of swords the three of wands is a situation where i'm sensing a lot of you um you were waiting 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 for a person to come into the picture you were waiting and a lot of people around you gave you a lot of um you know flack about it they're they're saying like why do you do that to yourself why don't you move on with your life? Why don't you, you know, like see the situation for what it is? And you're just like, no, they're going to come back. Things are going to get better. Things will be okay. And so you kind of like, you, you, you put yourself through this state of limbo where you were waiting, waiting, waiting. And it was a really long time. And this is the month where you move on from it for good. Okay. I also feel like somebody was really, I, I feel like somebody was, um, they, 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 they gave you promises. They, they made you promises and you stood by it, you know, like you, you stuck with it because of these promises and it might not have materialized. And so you have learned the hard way. It's like a very bittersweet lesson. You've learned the hard way not to trust again. And you've moved away from it. Okay. And it was just like, you're done physically, emotionally, you're just done. And it, it really left a bitter taste in your mouth. And it's bringing up all these trust issues with your new relationship. You're going to demand, you know, like it, even if you're with a person that you trust them, there's still that sense of, you know, that 10% of doubt and 10% is a really high number. Even if you're with somebody that is very honest, there's still a lot of trust issues affecting your current relationship and then i also feel some of you in the past you might have dated this type of person that kept you waiting that kept you know uh reeling you in right and now you're steering completely away from that even though you're very attracted to that you're steering away completely away from that you're moving on to a different type which is good for you 
but the type is like you're purposely choosing somebody that is the complete opposite of that person thinking that the complete opposite is going to provide you what you want right and so i'm seeing that element of you know two extremes right um and it things don't have to be so extreme aquarius you can find a middle ground okay and so i feel like some of you are just like okay lesson learned i'm not going to date that type so for example if you're really attracted to you know um the the bad looking guys or you know the the really um i want to say the troublemaker right like uh, like the bad boys or the bad girl stereotype um and they really hurt you now you're just like i'm gonna go for those button up types of people because you know they won't hurt a fly well there are all kinds of people all types of people everywhere just because they're buttoned up doesn't mean they're good, you know. And just because they're they have this um, reputation of being the bad boy or the bad girl doesn't mean that they're bad people. So I feel like your definitions need to be broadened, and it does not need to be so extreme. Okay. So I feel like that's what's happening here. You're fluctuating um, to like opposite ends of the ex uh, of the the spectrum, and it doesn't have to be so drastic. It doesn't have to be so extreme. If you're with this person, great, because I feel like they're a really good catch. This uh, water sign here, somebody who's really emotionally expressive and they make you feel very safe. They make you feel, feel very warm and you can say whatever you want with them without feeling censorship, without feeling like they're judging you. So I feel like this is a really good energy. Uh, you can express yourself emotionally and they won't judge you. However, there's still some communication issues here and it just might be, you know, you both are stubborn people. You don't really see eye to eye. You don't agree on the, on the everyday things. Okay. But it still can work. Moving forward, we are here in the present situation. We have here the death card. This is you kind of like stealing up. Okay. So some of you have basically, um, it's like if you have survived this where somebody left you hanging and they they made promises and there was just nothing on the end of it you're moving on you're single okay and then for others we have here the seven of sword uh, I'm sorry the seven of wands and the seven of wands basically indicates you're with a person you might have gotten back with a person and they're telling your friends your family your neighbors everybody in the village you know is chipping in they're just like no that's not the right thing to do you should not let give that person uh, another chance okay but you're still going to do it so that's for those trying to move back with exes and things like that it's not going to work out just be careful okay and I also feel as well, there's somebody here that your friends, your family do not approve of. And you feel a very strong emotional connection with them. And you're going to move forward and just, you know, just like, never mind who, who opposes you. You're going to move forward and try to develop a relationship with them. So I feel like the reading, and this has been something that I've noticed for the past few months to the readings go many, many ways with you guys. And I feel like it might be because a lot of people are watching, um, especially the Aquarius video. The view counts are a lot um, significantly higher than all the other signs. So I feel like a lot of people are watching. So it's really hard for me to narrow down one narrative. Um, I hope it's still helpful for many of you. I feel like there's a really good foundation for a relationship. And I feel like you need to leave your trust issues in the past. And I feel that some of you are dating outside of your usual type, which is really good. Okay. Just don't opt for the extreme end of the spectrum. Okay. Just don't do that because don't label things. Don't be too, you know, extreme. Um, I'm also feeling for singles, for singles, the seven of wands. It's basically, you know, like family, friends telling you, hey, do you want to go out with this guy that I know? Um, can I hook you up with this person or, you know, somebody playing matchmaker for you? And I feel like you're 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 not letting them. And it would be beneficial for you to let people that, you know, arrange something. I feel like it can really work out. And then others, I feel like you're stubbornly not willing or able to move on. 
and you're waiting for a person to come back and you feel like it's your soulmate you feel it's the right person for you and you're not moving on with your life okay so if that's you Aquarius um, I'm sensing that you know dating around in the interim actually wouldn't hurt you so I, I feel like you should try to diversify a little bit okay so I'm gonna leave it at that and um, I hope it's helpful for you guys and I hope it's um, helpful overall when you navigate the energies of this month and I hope it's applicable for, for many of you I will talk to you soon I'll be back for the mid-month reading and uh, I wish you the best okay take care bye bye